So, Taron Johnson agrees to a new three-year contract extension with the Buffalo Bills. What does it mean for the team, and why was this a good deal? Let's start with, first off, why this was kind of a no-brainer, and then we'll talk about what it means for the salary cap. Taron Johnson's really good. I have said for a long time that Taron Johnson is the most underrated player on the Bills' defense. You could probably make the argument that he's the most underrated player on the entire team, and that's because he can do so many different things. Taron Johnson's best asset is his versatility. You can use him in coverage. You can use him in the run game because he basically plays like he's a linebacker, even though he's got the body of a defensive back and the speed of a defensive back. He allows Sean McDermott to do a lot of different things with their defense, and that's very evident when we're just there watching practice and he's warming up and he's working with the linebackers alongside Terrell Bernard, alongside Matt Milano, and I know he's not huge. He's a little bit undersized when you think about what a linebacker looks like. He's a lot undersized when you think about what a linebacker looks like, but he doesn't play that way. He doesn't shy away from physicality. Last year alone, he had more than 70 solo tackles, almost 100 combined tackles. That was the best of his NFL career. And then you think about what he can do in the pass game and how many different ways they can use him there. Taron Johnson is just such a valuable player, and he's also healthy. He's been very available for them, and I know that's sometimes an overused cliche, but Taron Johnson didn't miss a game last year, only missed one game the year prior. I think they had one season where he missed five games or something like that, but that was a little bit of a while ago, so he has been an available player. And when you think about the secondary, that has not always been the case with guys like Tredavious White and obviously Micah Hyde in the safety situation. Jordan Poyer played through a ton. He was almost always available, but he did miss some games. And then even with the linebackers, right? We were just comparing him to a linebacker. Matt Milano has had some injury problems over the years. Taron Johnson is constant, and that's why getting him locked up makes so much sense for the next four seasons now that he's under contract. The added benefit here, though, is what this means for the salary cap. Because, assuming... Brandon Bean moved money from 2024 into the future years of his contract, which I think we're all assuming he did, that will free up more cap space for the Bills in the short term, which will allow them to probably go out and get another player or two that could make a serious contribution to this team this upcoming season. I saw the numbers from Track over the weekend, and it had the Bills' projected cap space somewhere around $16 or $17 million. Now, I don't exactly know if that is spot on, if that's close, whatever it is. It feels like the Bills have some money to spend, and if they've got Taron Johnson now opened up, if that contract's now happened, that'll free up a little bit more space. And that keeps bringing me back to that Eric Armstead deal that the Bills did not make, but it sounds like they were in the conversation on, and Eric Armstead got a bunch of money. So if the Bills were even in that ballpark... I wonder if they are still shopping for a defensive tackle to play a big role on this team, to go alongside Daquan Jones, to go alongside Ed Oliver. Daquan Jones, another year older, coming off a season where he missed a bunch of games with an injury. They probably want to have another legitimate player there. They like Eli Anku, the other guy on the roster, but probably not enough to be in a rotation with Ed Oliver and Daquan Jones. So I think defensive tackle is the one that makes sense. I also could see them going out and signing a safety to be a starter. But at the same time, Cam Lewis and Taylor Rapp, I wouldn't be shocked if they have those guys play bigger roles this upcoming season. I think wide receivers off the board. I think now that they've signed Curtis Samuel, now that they've signed Matt Collins, I think the next addition of a wide receiver will probably be a first-round pick or a second-round pick in the draft. you got to get younger at that position. But in free agency, I could totally see them go out and sign another defensive tackle or another safety, or maybe a couple other guys that are more middle-of-the-road players. But that's now possible because they're going to have extra money thanks to the contract extension of Taron Johnson. And the same thing with Deion Dawkins a couple weeks ago with the Josh Allen restructure, with the reworked contracts from Dawson Knox. Brandon Bean has been busy over the course of the last several weeks, which is to be expected because the Bills have a lot of decisions to make. They get a lot of positions they still need to fill. they got to fill out a roster to go to training camp. So a lot more moves to be made. I guess we'll just see how big they are. But Taron Johnson, contract extension, keeping him in Buffalo through the 2027 season. By the way, those trophies over my shoulder, those are not mine. They're just here in the newsroom. Talk soon. Bye.